Hello YouTube, Rejoint Rider here. It's uh, Sunday. Hope everyone's having a good day, had a good week. I found out yesterday that uh, I have to have new brakes put on my bike. I uh, wasn't quite expecting that, uh, spend that kind of money right before Sturgis. Um, I usually always have my maintenance work done at the Harley-Davidson dealership. Um, I guess if I was more mechanically inclined or, inclined, or if I knew someone who was, uh, I could have them do it for me or with me and I would save money, but... Um, I've read several times that if you are going to get trade in your bike and um, you have all the service documented with the dealership that you can get a better uh, trade-in amount. I have no idea if that's actually true. Um, well, at least if you're going to trade it in for New Harley. Um, but I do know that the bike I had before this was a uh, Harley Superglide, and uh, the Harley Davidson dealerships that I took it to when I was looking to get a new bike gave me a couple thousand dollars more than what other dealerships of other manufacturers were willing to give me and at both the Harley Davidson dealerships they said well you know one of the reasons we're giving you top dollar is because of the documented maintenance history of your bike so um, plus I know it's going to be done right and usually it's covered within a warranty but if that's true you know it's a uh, a little bit of an investment in the future, I guess, to have it done. I'm sure if you look at the dollar amounts at the end of the day, probably would have ended up saving more money if you just done it yourself. But, like I said, there's also that peace of mind in the at least 30-day you know, or 60-day warranty that at least our other Davidson dealership I go to gives you on maintenance work that they do. So yeah, that, that was kind of a kick in the pants. Um, I noticed it when I was going on my last ride uh, that I recorded to the tur uh, to Turkey Run. Um, once my bike brakes were all warm, uh, warmed up, they started to um, squeak, the front brakes did especially, when I came to a stop. and. Um, it also kind of sounds a little bit like the, or feels like the rotors are warped. So usually people get like 20,000 miles, I guess, on, on brakes before they have to have them replaced. And I unfortunately only made it about 17.5, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, they did tell me that I could probably last the rest of this riding season with them and um, have them, you know, replaced in the off season and then I kind of told them, well, you know, heading out to Sturgis in the beginning of August and between the ride out there and back and then the ride out to Yellowstone and back, you know, I'm looking at putting over 4,000 miles on my bike just then and you talk couple that with, you know, I typically put, I don't know, maybe a thousand miles a month, at least, on my bike, just a normal riding on the weekends, so they're like, yeah, um, they're probably not going to last until winter, so, you know, just suck it up and pay for it, I guess. So as you can see, I am once again riding solo. 
Uh, my buddy Jimmy has other things going on. I actually thought when um, when I started doing uh, YouTube videos that he would pretty much be in every one, but as it turns out, he's only been in two. But you'll see him and all my other uh, riding friends in my Sturgis videos, which I'm completely excited about uh, heading out to Sturgis. Um, I'm still not 100% happy that we're doing hotels instead of staying at the campsite. Uh, I lost that. Um, I lost that vote. Um, but like any uh, any election, you know, I accept the results. <laughs> So, we're staying in hotels, we're staying out in Deadwood um, for a few days, and then, oh, I think four days, and then we're riding out to uh, Yellowstone, and of course we're staying out in hotels there, but I personally want to do the whole campsite thing, and uh, a couple of the people we're going with have vehicles that they can trailer with, and uh, so... I thought that was a real good option, especially since the campsites are so much fun. Um, but people wanted to sleep in their air-conditioned beds and take a hot shower by themselves, I guess. So I understand it. Um, I'm just more the kind of person that if you're going to uh, go out there, you should get a campground experience. But a moot point because I lost lost the vote, so we're doing the hotels. Um, the other the other issue with that is that one of the people we have going is riding a Sportster, and another person we're going with has a uh, sport bike, and neither of those bikes are really built for you know long distance riding. Um, you can certainly do it, but it's not going to be the most enjoyable experience. So, because we're staying in hotels, no one's trailering. And they're going to have to ride with us at least 700 miles uh, the first day out there, and then 300 the next, and then however many miles it is from where we are to... Um, to Yellowstone and back. That's a lot of miles to put on a bike that really isn't built for it, but that's what they chose to do, so I'm going to support them in it. I will say, though, that if you're going to go out to Sturgis, um, you should at least ride your bike out there once. I'm not saying that you have to, that if you don't want to do it every time, um, I can I can accept that, but you should ride out at least once. I mean, it, to me, that's part of what it is going to Sturgis, is riding your bike out there. So, I mean, I don't know how it is for uh, people who live, you know, in Florida. I mean, maybe it's just impra uh, impractical because it's so far away, but for I'm, for where I live, it's 990 miles from my house to Sturgis, South Dakota. And we do it in two days. And in all actuality, the ride out there, you jerk. Then you just turning signal. I hate when people do that. Um, I mean, for me, 500 miles or 700 miles and then 300 miles is no big deal. Uh, we always break like every I don't know, every 100, 100 miles or every hour and a half for uh, 10 or 15 minutes. So it, it's just not that big of a deal to me. Um, but I could see how it would be a big deal, you know, if you lived in Florida and you were going to ride out there because you'd have to take so many extra vacation days to make it. Or, you know, ride... Um, 2,000 miles a day, or three, 700 miles, um, 
three seven hundred mile days. Both motors. So I understand why some people in, the, in who come from you know, further away uh, don't want to make that trip on a bike. But uh, I think that everyone who goes out there should try and ride out there at least once. It's kind of like a rite of passage, I think. For me, I actually love love the ride. Um, we take a US 90 the whole way there, and once you get up to Wisconsin and um, parts of Minnesota, it's actually quite pretty for being on an expressway. Um, and then we we usually I I don't remember what the road is off the top of my head, but we we don't take I ninety all the way there. We cut up to Pierre and come across. So we go through this grassland national park, which looks like the uh, looks like the splash screen of Windows ninety five. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of dating myself, but for those uh, for those of you who remember the blue sky with just the uh, hills of grass, that's exactly what it looks like. And it's kind of odd because there's absolutely nothing there except grass. So the last time we did it, we stopped and just listened for a second, and you heard absolutely nothing. There was there were no people, no signs of technology or, or anything. Um, we were. I think it was 75 miles long and there were we saw maybe one extra car or one car coming the other way in that whole stretch so that was kind of interesting plus I don't know whoever if anyone's ever been to Pierre but um, I think I think my hometown is actually more vibrant than Pierre is. I mean, there's just like nothing there. Um, it was really weird because it's the state capital, and I was like, "Where, where are all the buildings and stuff, and where are all the people?" But I guess like the populations, you know, maybe a hundred thousand, I think. So coming from Chicago. In the Chicago land area, it was it was kind of uh, eye-opening that uh, that a state capital could be that small. So I subscribe to a lot of different um, motorcycle YouTube channels, and a couple people that I haven't met in person, but I've chatted with, they're on a, a yearly trip called, uh, they call it the Hoot Nanny, and um, it looks like a lot of fun. I mean, they're actually going to a spot that... Uh, over Memorial Day weekend, um, which I did shoot YouTube videos of my uh, a couple of my friends and I, we went down the road Blue Ridge Parkway. Uh, they're down that way, that way, right now, and um, another group of people that I have talked with online are going to Sturgis this week, which. I thought it was kind of interesting because, you know, I posted on their site, I'm like, you know, the Sturgis is next month. But I guess their thing is that they want to go ride 
uh, the Black Hills and um, go out to Devil's Tower and Yellow, um, Mount Rushmore and everything and do it not during, I don't think, do it outside of Sturgis because I don't want to deal with all the, uh, all the bikes there. I mean, for me, the last time I was in Sturgis was the 75th anniversary, and there were twice as many people there as there normally are. And even then, I mean, it wasn't that bad. It, it sucked real bad when we were in Sturgis, because it took me like uh, an hour and a half to get from one end of town to the other. But I don't really, I read that they built another road um, to go around downtown, so um, that along with the fact that there's going to be at least half as many people there. Um, I think last year they had like 600,000 people there, so it would be less than half. Um, I don't think it's just going to be a big problem. But we'll see. Hopefully I'll still have uh, time to do a bikini car wash or something go to the uh, pavilion at Glencoe and see all the shenanigans. I don't know if I'll get to film that, but um, for those of you who've never been, it's rather hedonistic. Anyway, um, I've arrived at my destination, so I will chat you all later. Hope you have a good week. This is uh, Regent Rider signing out. Bye-bye.